hello friend this is Sopnin and welcome to learn SAP app app so in this session we are going to see what is the instance method and the static method and how it is called in ABAP object oriented programming okay so as in the next video we are going to see what is a static constructor but before that you should know what is a static and instance method and how it is called okay so for that purpose we are looking now static uh, and instance method okay so what is a static method okay friends so static method is a method which can be called irrespectively to a class instance uh, means we don't need to create any object to call the statics method okay and static method access only static attributes okay uh, and what is the instance method so instance method is uh, called only using the object reference and instance method access static as well as instance attributes okay so let's go to the sap and if you are the first time on my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of next videos okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching this video okay friends so i'm in my sap system so we'll tell you in this uh, session how the class attributes how the uh, static method and instant method works okay so let's start so we'll give you the some we'll give you the some basic idea i and i hope you will understand quickly what while watching this video what is a static method and how we can call static method and instant method okay so let's define one small class like class cls1 uh, uh, as I, I have already told you in my last video, class can have two sections class definition and class implementation, right? So we are defining the class, and similarly, we will just use the class one as an implementation, right? Also, okay, so this is the normal thing, okay? So class uh, definition and class implementation, okay? So we have just done with the class definition, class implementation part, okay? So now uh, the class can have the public section, private section protected, but uh, as of now, we will use the public section, okay? public section okay okay so now we first will tell you about the instance method okay so for the instance method we just need to declare the data instance variable type giving the name as a string okay and similarly we are defining as a method first we will show you about the uh, instance method okay uh, instance method okay okay so now we have just uh, defined a class in the class we have a public section which contain the instance method uh, which contain the instance variable and instance uh, which contain the variable uh, which and the instance method okay so we have a class def we have just uh, defined a class in which we have a public section uh, which contains the variable and the instance method okay similarly we will just implement this method okay method instance method okay and end method okay so now we have to just implement so what we will write we will just use this variable so we'll use a we'll write the name this is instance variable okay simply and write will be then instance variable okay okay so now we have just implemented the instance method as well okay so sorry okay check and activate okay so okay so now we have implemented the instance method okay so now let's suppose we have to call this instance method for that what we need to do we will write first start of selection okay then first we need to just create a uh, reference variable okay so we'll give you the name as a object type which will refer to this class okay okay so as i already told you instant method we can only call using the object reference okay so i will just define i have defined the object reference variable and we'll create the create object and for the create object uh, we will give as a here we are just creating the object okay now now let's suppose you have to call the instance method for that what we will do we just take the reference of this object and we call as a call this method instance method okay 
that's it okay so now if I will execute this thing so you can see you can see the output this is an instance variable okay now we will see about the static method okay static method so for the uh, so how the, uh, so we can define a static attribute using the naming convention like this class hyphen data okay and here we will give the static variable okay he will use a, give the type string okay and how we can define the static method similar same class hyphen methods okay and here we will give as a static method okay so this is uh, I have just uh, to uh, in order to understand I have just given the static method okay but there is no any uh, like uh, you can give any name for the method define or classing method but this uh, for declaration of classing method this name should be the same okay as I have used over here okay so static attribute we can define using the class iPhone data and the method we can use in the class iPhone method statements okay so let's implement this thing now okay so we'll give here will is its method with the instance method okay and method okay so now uh, we'll use use this static variable and here also we'll give the name same and it will change as a this is a static variable okay and we'll write the right we'll use a static variable okay so now we have just defined and implemented static method okay so now we have to just call the starting method so how to call the starting method as i already told you starting method can be called irrespective to the class instance okay so we don't need to create any object and define a reference variable okay we can directly call the starting method so how we can call we have to just take the reference of this class like class now we have to just uh, call the static methods okay so how we can call like you have to the class we have to just take the reference of this class like uh, not a reference actually we have to use this class one and then equal to greater than this this is nothing but the uh, this is nothing but the symbol which we are uh, which we use in order to call this statics method okay static method okay so this okay that's it so now as you can see we haven't we haven't created any uh, object we haven't take the reference of this object okay we have just used this reference to uh, for the instance method and to call the statics method we have just used the class name and then go to greater than and then statics method okay and, uh, so let's uh, check the output now okay so if I execute then as you can see this is the statics variable this is a inst uh, this is a instance variable and this is a statics variable okay so now as I have told you one more thing uh, like uh, the instance method can access the statics attributes right but uh, static attributes as well as the uh, instance attribute but the static method can only access the static uh, only access the static attribute okay so let's see what will happen if we are using the using here the statics attribute using here the instance attribute so this is the statics method okay so let's suppose we will use this instance uh, this instance attribute inside this statics method let's see what will happen if we will uh, activate this thing Okay, so as you can see here the error within a static method only static attribute can be accessed without switching. Okay, so we can't use the instance attributes. Okay, so we can only use the static attribute inside this static method. Okay So we'll change it once again. Okay, so now let's take a look look at the instance method So instance in the instance method we can use the instance attribute as well as the static attributes. Okay, so we are in the okay so here what we will do we will just take the statics variable also okay so here i'm using equal to give the this is the instance variable okay this and okay so now how we will get the output this is the instance variable this is the static variable from 
instance method variable from instance method okay variable from static method okay so we'll uh, execute this thing now and you can see the output okay so now as you can see we are not getting the any error over here okay as for the static method it was showing the error but for for the instance method it is not showing the error that means we can use the statics variable as well as a oh, sorry the, sorry that means we can use the st instance variable as well as the statics variable inside this instance method okay so we'll check the output okay so now as you can see this is the instance variable from instance method this is a static variable from instance method and this is a static variable from static method okay so this is the way uh, we can use the uh, instance method and the static uh, instance method and the statics methods okay more thing if you want to read more some theoretical part on the statics method and instance method so you may find the link given in the description okay so go and check it down so you may find the, some article on my website also so you can run from uh, you can read that thing as well uh, about the instance method and the statics methods okay but if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.tennisapiapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out